Alright guys, welcome back to The Last of Us. So, Joel has decided to once again take Ellie all the way. And we are here at the University of Eastern Colorado. A little bit of uh, talk on football between the two. So here we are. One of these buildings looks like a nerd. Well, we'll head to center now we're basically we'll looking for a building, the the University of Colorado Science Building, which is gonna stick out like a sore thumb when we see it. But first, we want to go into this little uh, garage Stay. here. I, I, I guess it's like a, an auto body shop because we got to pick up this wonderful piece of shit. That is a full fledged flamethrower and I have no idea why somebody would make that and then just leave it there. Uh, who knows there could be a wide variety of reasons why they left it. Probably because they didn't last very long without it. And trust me, if you pick it up, you will definitely have a much easier time surviving. But we're going to upgrade as much shit as we possibly can right now. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. But I'm going to save it until I have a few more parts because I just want to get everything upgraded so I can basically forget about it. Like once again, I'm playing on a new game plus, so we are... I'm not really that worried about getting all collectibles. I'll do that in my own yeah, private yeah. session. Is that time of year? Okay. I think No. This way. No. Okay, I'm kind of Oh, yeah. And if you play this game in uh the multi the multiplayer this is probably one of the best and or hardest multiplayer maps in the game because there's lots of places to camp, there's lots of open area, and it basically all just depends on the team you have. But enough about that, I'm going to stick with the uh, single player story. So now we have to find a way to get this here gate open. Looks like someone Jerry rigged this thing. The only problem is no juice. There's no juice. So we basically have to go up there to restart the generator. The power back off. As told by this note, but unfortunately I don't have to read notes in, in order to know what they are, so I'm not gonna read them. And we got some creepers, creepers, creatures up here, clickers and infected shit. So we're going to bust out our, we're going to try out our new toy. Why not? Come at me. <laughs> uh, the one thing I will say about the flamethrower is you kind of want to give small bursts of it of the of its firepower because it can run out of fuel very quickly but um, pretty much any enemy that you you hit with the flamethrower is going to die with the exception of the bloaters bloaters can take up to I think three sprays with it before they'll actually bend to your will but 
you know, we're not going to have to deal with any uh, bloaters yet. So, now that we got the generator going, we're going to go back down here. And I am going to open this fucking gate. I would have wanted to be an astronaut. Okay, well. That effect. Yeah. Can you imagine being a girl by I could have just walked to the other side of the gate, but I don't know. Two seconds on a horse sounds a lot better. I'll be right back. So flip the switch here. Joel serious. wants to be a singer. <laughs> Shut up. No serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, I don't sing? really know how good of a, a singing voice uh, Joel would have. Aw, are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess Oh wait, I gotta go back here. There we go, because there's a little bit of stuff up here. Nothing... That's a m real must-have. It's just... There's a lot of, uh... I think there's a few s metal pieces up here. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it all adds up. Especially if you're trying to max out all your weapons. So yeah, look, we got monkeys running around. Why do we have monkeys at the University of Colorado? Mm, hard to say. My guesses are probably test subjects. Which, I'm not really sure if the University of Colorado tests things on monkeys, but we have a firefly sign here indicating that at one point in time they were here. At this point, we are basically going to leave Ellie to herself for a minute. Because we're going to try to open this gate. There it is. Just to find out we can't. Because the generator is pretty much separated from the power source. It's disconnected. So we have to find a way to go around. There's another generator. How are we going to go about doing this? So okay, well, we're going to crawl through this little hole. Uh, poke around in some people's, well, people's former dorm rooms. And we're going to get ourselves a little bit of supplies. And then we're going to have a little uh, beat down with some infected. But I don't think it's going to get... I don't think that's going to be added in this part, or maybe it will, depending on how soon I get there. Okay, so in this room, I believe there's, yeah, there's alcohol here, there should be an open drawer here, yeah, scissors and shit. Uh, I know one of these rooms has some arrows in it. There's a note there. Um, nothing there. Okay, we have another bathroom. Okay, oh. we, we have spores coming on. Okay, can't use that. Alright, so we're going to go down here. And guess what? Remember when I said we're not going to worry about bloaters? Well, we have one that's basically at the end of the hall. So if you can stay quiet enough, you can quite possibly take out all of these... Uh, yeah, that's him down there at the end. You can take out all of these fucking clickers here and not have to worry about taking on all these clickers and him at the same time. But unfortunately, 
I don't have any more arrows, so I might just have to power my way through. He's got no head, how is he? Oh. Like, how would they bite you if they have no fucking head? It's kind of weird. Okay, but Captain Bloater is on his way, so let's introduce him to our new weapon and see how it handles. Oh, fuck. Here it comes. Yeah, just remember that... Oh, there's the arrows. Just remember that uh, w when you burn off a bloater's, uh, I want to say boils, whatever they are, they get a lot faster. So, nothing too big, like two blasts with that fucking thing took this bitch down. And yeah, you are required to kill that thing in order, if you're going for all the pennants, because it's got a, a firefly pennant. Well, you should probably kill the thing regardless, because there's a vending machine at the end of the hall that is pretty much blocking a door. And it's one of those button mash quick time events. So you'll have to kill him, otherwise he's just gonna fuck you up while you're moving the machine. And we got pretty much nothing else, I don't think. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I want to try to grab that arrow. The fuck? Where's the arrow? There it is. Alright, that's good. So yeah. Uh, you gotta open this door. It's got a vending machine. After doing so, you'll find yourself back outside near the other generator. So that's going to be it for this episode, and I will see you guys next time.